Hello everyone, my name is Joni and I am a contemporary Christian romance author. I am an independently published author and um, today I am going to be doing a 2022 independent publishing year in review. So I'm going to be reviewing my very first sort of full year of being an independently published author I suppose it's not my first full year because I, I think I published my first debut my first novel in 2021 so I, I could count 2021 as my first full he year but I think because my debut novel didn't publish until September of 2021 I'm kind of seeing 2022 as the first full year where I was a um, an, an indie author so I've got a little presentation for you guys which I'm going to show you Happy New Year, by the way. The holidays are over. I'm back in London. I'm starting work again tomorrow. I was supposed to do a live stream for this, but then I realized actually it would be good to do a proper video and then I can just um, upload it. So I'm using, I'm going to be using a few gadgets here. I did a presentation. Um, so bear with me because it's the first time I'm doing this. Hopefully it all, it all uploads okay and it's all fine and good and you guys can hear everything and see my screens and things like that. So without further ado i'm just going to uh share my screen and go straight into the presentation hopefully you guys can um see so let's pop that there i'm just gonna bring myself down and then we're going to go into presentation mode there you go so and um, that's 2022 in the publishing year in review. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about book sales. So I'm going to be talking about how many books I sold in 2022. And then I'm going to be talking about my income. So the income that I was, um, I got from book sales last year. I'm not going to be giving just the heads up. I'm not going to be giving the exact numbers because I think that's very personal information, but I've made lovely sort of pie charts for you guys to give you an idea of what the income was and then um, expenses as well. I'm going to be talking about what I spent uh, money on because with every business and indie publishing is one of those that you, you learn quite early on that you have to you have to most of us would have to spend some money to make money so um yeah i'm going to be talking about book sales income and expenses so let's go without further ado we'll go to the next slide the very first thing we're going to be talking about is book sales so um let me just go back so i have three books published at the moment two novels and one uh devotional the very first book i published was um it's called a uh, um uh outpourings of a beloved heart and it is a 30-day poetry devotional all about god's love and that was published in september sorry august 2018 so it's been a few years it's quite niche um and you know not everybody reads devotionals and not everybody reads devotionals that is you know a poetry devotional so um i didn't i haven't made lots of sales but obviously we'll look at the, the, the graph so we can compare so that was my first book my second book um, and my debut novel is called the one who knows me that was published in september 2021 and then my third book and my second novel is called The One Who Loves Me that was published in May 2022. So obviously The One Who Knows Me and The One Who Loves Me, you can hear from the titles, they're part of the same series. It's called The Sovereign Love Series. And um, that series is a, a, is going to be a book series of companion devotionals, um, uh, sorry, of companion books, <laughs> not devotionals, companion novels. Um, they follow different characters who, uh, but their, their lives are all interconnected. And, um, yeah, that's basically my three books that are out there at the moment. Book three in that series is coming out this uh this year in in june you guys would know that by now because i've already announced the title the blurb and the release date the video would be on my channel it's called the one who sees me and it'll be out june 6th 2023 um so if you guys want to know more about that then i'll leave the link to the video down below so those are my three books and we're going to go to book sales so book sales um so in terms of book sales we had um obviously three books um and as you can see from the pie chart the three books that we um had so i'm just going to put devotionals and lump it all together because i do plan on publishing more devotionals um in the years to come so i'm just calling it devotionals but obviously devotional i'm referring to here is outpourings of a beloved heart so we can see that um the biggest percentage of books my bestseller was the one who knows 
Knows Me, which is a debut novel um, that um, literally kicked off in April. Sales for that kicked off in April and March because of TikTok. And um, we had lots and lots of people buying. And I think a lot of people every month I've been seeing consistent sales, like almost double the numbers for The One Who Knows Me. I suppose because it's the first book in the series. And even though they're companion books, most people always think that it's better to start from the beginning. I think with this one, is you get the best experience when you start from the beginning, but you actually don't need to because it follows different characters, like I said. Uh, but obviously you get a better experience if you start from the beginning. So 63.1% of my inc of the of the sales that we had this year came from The One Who Knows Me and um 35.1 percent came from the one who loves me and obviously just 1.8 percent from um outpourings of beloved heart so uh, you know what i'm happy with that in terms of um, the devotionals because like i said it's quite niche and you need to really um <laughs> you know know how to market this is really difficult to market this devotional so any sort of sale is you know works for me so i'm going to stop sharing my screen for a moment and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to um because there's a few graphs that i want to show you guys and i'm just going to bring those up this is from my kdp account um and i'm going to start sharing my screen again just give me one moment Okay, so um, we're back here. So this is the KDP um, dashboard. Um, and I'm just showing you sort of the numbers here. Um, so we can see that January, if we start from January here, I only sold two books, The One Who Knows Me. Then in February, we sold 12 books. Um, and then, that, so one of, uh, of the devotional and then 11 of um, The One Who Knows Me. Then in March, we saw 33 books. March was the time when I started using TikTok to market my books. And you can see here that um, the book sales started getting better and better. So three of our points of Beloved Heart and then the rest were The One Who Knows Me. At this point, I had not published um, the second book, The One Who Loves Me. So it was mainly um, two books I was getting income from. April, we sold 73 books. We had quite a few um, video. I think two videos got, went viral in on TikTok in April. So we had a lot of sales that came in for the one who knows me, which was amazing, which was great. I was able to re reach a lot of readers, which was amazing. May as well was release month for the one who loves me. So obviously um, the income went up and the, the book sales went up a bit because now from May onwards, I was publishing three books and I was um, getting revenue from three books instead of two so we can see that that went up we sold 102 books um and then june 66 books again you can see a few outpourings of the beloved heart um sales popping in there from time to time but it's mostly from the novels and then july we had um not a video go viral per se i think i had a few videos go viral but i think one of the tiktoker posted um my video and she had a she had a lot of subscribers and so obviously from that people came to my page and then they went and bought the book so we had a lot of sales in july which was absolutely amazing obviously that rolled into august as well so we sold 114 books in july and 88 books in august then we sold 85 books in september in september i celebrated the one year anniversary for publishing the one who knows me i did a um uh discounted sale um paid newsletter uh um promo or whatever you call it i think it was book for, um, not book for now sorry fussy librarian i think i used in september um and i dropped it the price to 99 pence and so we had quite a few sales from that um and then we sold 35 books in october so the, there was a very big dip in october and i don't know what happened there if you guys have been watching my writing vlogs you would see that i talked about this and the fact that i was doing everything the same but we just had a dip we went from 85 books to 35 books and i don't know what happened there i tried my best but i can't tell you why but anyway thank god the sales went back up in november to 77 um i there was a black friday uh, book sale i did another say 99p sale on the one who knows me and i also did a sale on the one who loves me as well we got quite a few sales from that i used um not fussy librarian but faithful reads um book book promo newsletter promo 
for this one and i thought it was quite successful actually um and then obviously in december we went up to 81 so this is only kdp just to be clear so this is only kdp this is not going to um there's there's also draft to digital where i sell books as well um <laughs> and so i don't even know how many books i sold from draft to digital but i will be able to tell you guys the actual numbers of books that i sold um for the different um different books when i go back to my um my pie chart but this is only kdp um draft digital is different and i've got barnes and noble as well i sell books on barnes and noble so this is not all the sales that i made this is just kdp so i thought it'd be good to show you guys that okay so that's um book sales i'm just gonna go back to my screen now just to see if i can show you guys any more um Okay, so I think that's it. Okay, so that's it for book sales. I'm just going to try and go back to my chart so that I can give you guys the actual numbers of the book sales that we had. Um, so, um, so we sold 18 devotionals. We sold 18 um, copies of our Pourings of Beloved Heart. We sold 631 copies of The One Who Knows Me. And we sold uh, 351 copies of The One Who Loves Me. So all together, so this is including sales on Draft Digital and Barnes and & Noble and Okada Books and BAM Books, um, which are other sites where my books are available on. Um, so all together, we sold 1,000 books um this year 1000 books this year which was yeah which was amazing so um 1000 books this year um so yeah that that's actually an amazing number so um i'm just going to check something really quickly just to make sure that that number is accurate <laughs> um rather than just calling out the number if I, if i've made a mistake in my ad and i feel like I might have made a little bit of a mistake. Oh, yes, I am right. Actually, yes, we, we sold 1,000 books this year. Okay, so I, I didn't actually realize it was that much. I didn't think that we reached um, 1,000. The, the time I, the last time I calculated, it was like um, 990 something. So we actually got to 1,000 books. That is crazy. So um, I'm so grateful to God for that because I can't even, you know, begin to imagine that, we've got over you know a thousand people who have copies of my books out there um and it's just amazing to see the amount of reach that we're able to get this year through the marketing strategies i can only only thank god for that it was an amazing experience to see the growth and i'm so happy so we're going to move on now i'm going to share my screen again and we're going to move on to income so just give me one moment again sorry there's a bit of a lag um I'll do that okay so we'll go back to the presentation and then so we're done with book sales and now we're going to go to income reports so again um based on the sort of spread of income i'm just going to explain a bit more so that i've got three sources of income at the moment well two mainly and then one extra one so two mainly um and that is from print on demand platforms so the print on print on demand platforms are mainly amazon kdp draft to digital but draft digital is not really print on demand is mainly in ebooks but they do have a print on demand arm which i'm not actually using at the moment and then uh barnes and noble you know i've got okada books and bam books so i suppose i could further set separate that to sort of ebooks print on demand platforms but i just decided to group it all together so when i say print on demand platforms i'm referring to um amazon kdp because that's the main one draft digital barnes and noble or cada books and bam books are the uh, ebook um uh, libraries that are available to african readers so i have my books on there as well um so yeah and then i've got website sales so i do offer signed copy um signed copies on my website and then also um like digital prints and stuff like that on my website so we can see that we had 65.2 percent of our income come from um the print and demand platforms obviously it was mainly the book sales on there then we had 22.4 percent come from website sales so signed copies it was mainly signed copies i barely sold any sort of like um digital prints because i've not really been marketing them but i barely sold any of those um 
And then, so yeah, signed copies on the website. I got lots of pre-orders in May and then quite a few towards the end of the year because I did a, a signed copy sale. It's only for people in the UK. So um, it's probably probably why and then other it was just a sort of random thing that opportunity that came to me towards um i think a few months ago and i got an extra uh, amount of money from that that's that's not something that's going to be happening all the time that's why i put it as other or miscellaneous um so there's the three sources of income at the moment um and yeah, so that those are the distribution at the moment obviously i'm not going to give the proper the actual um uh the exact income um but you have some sort of idea now we're gonna go back um and i just want to show you guys another chart um on kdp so um oh just give me one second i'm gonna stop sharing for a moment because i don't know what's going on with my chart um it was working perfectly um a moment ago and now it's just not coming up um so I want to show you guys the income. So I want to show you guys the bar chart for last year, just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like throughout the year. Um, and just to give you guys a bit of a, uh, an idea, you know, of, of the, the sort of, uh, distribution. So I think I've got it to start working now. So I'm just going to share my screen. Again, this is Amazon only. So you can see that in January we had, um, that's it, it the, the, if you can look at the distribution so january was quite low obviously you could see that from what we had before and then february was also quite low as well then march when we started marketing on tiktok that went up to you know started increasing and then in april when i started having the viral videos that increased as well may was the release month you can see that there's more books there and then um june as well that um more or less consistent july we had more viral videos went up to and that that was the highest um income earning month that was july then august was um fairly good september it dropped it started dropping a little bit and then it dropped even lower in october but thank god that in november and december it went up um, again which was great to see so i'm grateful to god for that and then i'm just going to show you guys this is what it looks like um for a lifetime so since i've been publishing um all together like the income so you can see all the way at the end of the graph here this is september 2018 when i published the devotional um and then things haven't really been you know consistent weren't really consistent in these first few years because like i said it's really difficult to market that devotional but some people were buying i was still getting some sales it's just that it was really difficult um and then obviously things started to increase um in september after i published the one who knows me and then obviously this year because of tiktok and finding that my ideal readers and things like that online and social media we're able to get more sales so just to give you guys an idea of how things have been tipping i think some months are better than but better than others you can see july was the highest income earning month which was great because of all those viral videos but i'm happy to see that december the income went back up again even though i didn't really have that many viral videos to be honest i don't know where the people were coming from where they were buying the books but i can only thank god for that favor so so yeah that's it i'm gonna stop sharing my screen and then um, i'm gonna try and go back to the presentation and we're gonna talk about the last thing on the presentation so oh gosh i need to get more <laughs> I need to get more efficient with doing this okay so we'll share our screen and then we'll go back to here um so we're going to present again um so we've talked about book sales we've talked about income report and the last thing we're going to talk about is expenses now obviously <laughs> we've got the income report and that's the gross income that we got but obviously we forget that this is a business and I have spent some money this year. If you've been watching my vlogs, you would know that we um, got back all our money or I got back all my money that I spent this year. And so we did get a profit. Um, we reached our income goal, I think September, October or something like that. Uh, oh, sorry, we reached our um, expenses, but we, we turned over in about October time. So what we got at the end of October and um, November and December was a surplus, which was great. Um, I thank God for that because obviously <laughs> um, I'm still trying to make sure that um, every year we get a profit rather than a loss. That's what's the best thing to do in every business where you're getting profits rather than losses. Um, 
So the biggest cost um, for expenses here was production costs. And um, that was 48.2%. Then we've got websites and subscriptions, which is 41.6%. And then you've got marketing, which is 10.2%. Now, I'm, I've just got my um, Notion app here. I'm just going to read out to you what exactly uh, form these different components, just so you give gives you a bit of an idea of what I mean by production costs. So I spent money on... Um, editing my novel the one who loves me obviously it published in 2022 so i spent money with ed with um uh doing the editing for that and i spent money in editing the blurb for that as well um then cover design as well for the one who loves me uh, i spent money in getting proof copies and buying signed copies posting signed copies of the post postage and packaging um and then i bought some bookmarks and stickers or some stationary items to go with the um, signed copies that was also part of the production costs as well i didn't buy any isbns this year because i bought 10 in bulk all the way back in 2021 so i didn't have to buy and make any purchases for that this year now website and subscriptions um so i paid for i pay for my website domain name um every year um and then i, I use wix so we do a premium wix site subscription um i had to re renew my subscription this year because I, I used the premium version of wix so i had to renew that i paid uh, a fee for book funnel for using book funnel to distribute arcs and things like that i paid the one-time fee for publisher rocket which is the um the the software i used to help me find my keywords and things to help market my books on amazon um i paid for canva i have canva pro which i use for making like social media graphics and things like that so i have to pay for that and i found a christian writers association or group or, or you know member forum in the uk it's called association of christian writers um and i've been trying to find a you know something like acfw in the united states with As association of christian fiction writers i found something similar in the uk although it's not for specific to christian fiction writers but it is christian writers so i paid a membership for that and it's a one year um it's, it's a yearly fee um so yeah that's basically what i i um did for websites and subscriptions and then for marketing i didn't do any ads i didn't do any um amazon ads facebook ads i didn't do any of that i did a promotional tour um when i was publishing the one who loves me so i paid for that and then like i mentioned earlier i did two email promo um sales or whatever you call them so fossil librarian and faithful read so those are the two um marketing strategies that i used this year and then the rest of it was just video um video social media marketing so tiktok and facebook uh I don't know, um, instagram reels and yeah lots of other things so yeah that's it that's basically the end that's the expenses i'm gonna stop sharing my screen now so we've gone back to here. So, like I said, um, I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think of that. I just wanted to share just to give you guys a bit of a insight into indie publishing and, you know, just seeing what things could be like or what things could turn out for you. And I love doing this to sort of um, record my journey and just to see, record the growth. Um, obviously, I'm hoping that things will be a lot better this year. Um, uh, I've got some goals for this year, which I'm going to talk about in the next video. I'm going to do another sort of video where I'm going to share with you my author business plan for 2023 and to talk about some goals for the author business. So that will be in the next video. But if you've got any questions at all, for um this video like i said this was the first time I'm doing a recording where i'm screen sharing so I've, i'm gonna have to get the hang of it so thank you guys so much for your patience i hope you guys are well if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below let me know how you did this year in terms of your author business if you've got any tips for me or anything you'd like to share i would love 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 to have a conversation about that with you so leave a comment down below so we can have a chat. Have a lovely day and God bless you. Bye.